I kept talking to them or if I didn't follow them, you will have a problem with it. Like, sis, have that ever happened to you? Like, your friend telling you, oh, out of all my friends, you the one always wanting to be reached out. You the one always have, wanting to be checked up on. But baby, I want that because I do that to you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartus Baby to Machine. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a girl talk. And it's going to be about signs that you are way too loyal of a friend, okay? So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below. It helps me a whole lot. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms, my Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And also, comment down below any other type of girl talk video you'd like me to film next. And let me know what are your thoughts down below about this topic because, baby, we, we know that it's hard for us loyal people to make friends that are as loyal as us. So here, I'm here to, you know, spill the tea and tell you guys to watch out for these type of signs, okay? If you are too lo too much of a loyal friend, you need to be careful because sometimes these other people that you have around you do not deserve you. So yeah, you guys, right here I have my notes, okay? So I have my notes written down because I don't want to just ramble on. I want to be able to tell you guys the real tea. We talk about it and we move on to the next, okay? All right, you guys. So, let's get started. So, the first time that you're too loyal as a friend is when you are the one always reaching out. Baby, let me tell you. First of all, most of the things I have on this list are, are things that I'm eating dealing with at the moment or I have dealt with in the past. So, first, bro, this first one is so me because i'm always the one reaching out but baby let me tell you 2022 is coming up it's not gonna keep happening like i'm literally taking some real resolution i already actually started already baby if you watch my last video chit chat get ready with me i will link it up here i mentioned that letting go of certain people that you feel like the energy is not being match it goes with this always being the one reaching out you're always the one calling, always the one texting. Sometimes you will call, they will call you back the next day. Sometimes you will call or text, they will reach out to you like the next day. And when you complain, it's like, but at least I called back. Oh, oh no, baby. At least you called back. What? <laughs> oh, you must be kidding me. Not, like, no. Nah. If any of this applies to you, baby, just know you are too loyal of a friend and some of your friends do not deserve you. Because if you're always reaching reaching out, always checking up on them, always trying to make moves as like, let's meet, let's do this, let, it's always you, baby, you need to fall back a little bit, okay? You need to try to fall back because at a certain point, they're going to know that you are always the one reaching out and they're going to take advantage of that because, okay, that happened to me. That happened to me. So, if you are too much of a loyal friend, you need to be careful and learn when and how to fall back, okay? So, the next point that I have written down is they are complaining about you being a high-maintenance friend or being a um, friend that's too demanding just because you, look, you, you, you want them to, you know, to match your energy. They call you high-demanding or they call you um, high-maintenance friend. That happened to me in my past friendship and some of my current one, where I was called the, out of all my friends, you the high maintenance friend. You always want me to reach out to you. My other friends understand me. They know that if we don't talk all the time, baby, we don't need to talk all the time, but at least let me, let, like, I shouldn't be the, the one always hitting you up. It gets draining. At a certain point, it gets tiring, okay? You're always, let's say the person post something on social media, you go ahead and be like, oh, are you okay? But when you post something sad on social media, Crickets. Crickets. No one is reaching out to you. No one is saying nothing. Then you are too loyal of a friend, baby. Like, you need to learn how to fall back once again. Okay? Don't let anybody call you a high-maintenance friend or a very demanding friend just because you are looking for the love that you give back. Okay, it needs to be re re reciprocated. Okay, if I give you love, you give me love back. Okay, I cannot be doing this one sided friendship, relationship, or whatever shit that we have going on, and you calling me high demanding when I complain or when I tell you how I feel. That mm -mm, mm -mm, we're not doing that. It's about to be 2022, guys. Please watch out. If any of the things I say in this video got you thinking, oh wow. I'm actually going through this in my friendship. I'm actually going through that in my friendship. Then, baby, you need to really evaluate your friends again. You got to really check out who is reaching out to you, who cares about you, who checks up on you, okay? 
who cares about coming to see you because that's another one my next point is you always being the one going to visit okay you always the one going to visit your friend going to the house going to see them but unless you have an event in your home they will never show up unless you have a party or a get together or something going on in your house that's that's the only time they will come other than that you always go into the house for no apparent reason oh hey girl what are you doing oh, i'm home okay what are you doing nothing just home okay i'm coming and you you drive there or walk there or or, or catch an uber there or however you get there and then you chill with the person for a couple couple hours and then you go home but the person never does that to you though like i'm so big in matching people's energy now that is crazy i'm even literally it's scaring me how much i'm matching people's energy like i'm scared literally because we're not doing that we're not doing that anymore that one-sided love one-sided friendship one-sided relationship no it's about to be 2022 once again we're not doing that okay so yeah you guys if you're always rich now always going there Call the, the high maintenance friend. Just know you're too loyal for friend because you're not asking for much. Okay? Because you already giving that to them. So you are not asking for much. So don't feel like you're asking for too much. I have some old friendship that we had had like a couple meetings. Me telling them how I feel. And then all they kept saying was, out of all my friends, you the only one always complaining about me not reaching out. Like, sis, have that ever happened to you? Like, your friend telling you, oh, out of all my friends, you the one always wanting to be reached out. You the one always ha wanting to be checked up on. But, baby, I want that because I do that to you. Like, I want that because I do that to you. It's not like I want that because I don't do it to you. It's because I do it to you and I want that love back. Because I feel like I'm forcing myself. And that's when I decided to lay back. And once you lay back, baby, if they care about you, they will come back to you and realize that they messed up. But if they do not care about you, they will also stay in the corner. And that's how the friendship is going to fall off. Literally. Y'all will fall off and the friendship... Oh, I dropped my book. And the friendship will vanish. So, the last sign that I want to talk to you guys about is a big one. And it is cutting your friend's enemies off okay i don't need that book because i got it right here i kept it last on purpose so baby let's 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 chat about this okay so let's say your friend has a beef with somebody right somebody else that person didn't do nothing to you and you you are such a loyal friend you decide to cut off that person your friend is no longer talking to out of the strength of just the love you have for that friend okay please you need to stop it if that is you that's how it used to be. You need to stop because most of the time that friend that you are doing all that for would not do the same thing for you. Okay? And that's straight up facts. All right? Or what normally happens is a couple months go by, then next you know they become friends again. And you out you left out looking stupid. You looking real dumb because you like I'm so passionate when it comes to these type of things cuz baby like I'm, I'm telling y'all I'm going through this. And I went through some of the other things in the past. Okay? So, most of the time they become friends again. And you left out looking stupid. Then your friend will invite you out with that friend she, she had a beef with. And you just there looking real dumb. Because you cut her off or unfollowed her and did all that because of your friend. And now that friend and you look real dumb. So... Or what you can do is if that's just like if that's just who you are, like my loyalty is so strong, I cannot, I cannot decide to keep being friends with somebody else or or not have beef with someone else. My friend has beef with you. Know what you do? Either you tell your friend, you gotta, you gotta promise me that you will never be friends with that person again. Like, never. And if you have become friends again, then you don't care about my friendship and you are not loyal to me. Because I'm not gonna be in a predicament of looking dumb. But I'm following this person and stop being friends with them for your sake. And next, you know, you turn around and be friends with that person again. You got to promise me this is this is it for you guys' friendship for real. For me to go ahead and unfollow that person. Or just stop being friends with that person. Or just or, or, or do anything for the strength of our friendship towards that person. I used to be that type of friend. Okay? I used to be that friend to unfollow people. To stop talking to people because my friends ain't messing with them no more. But guess what? 
couple months go by, they become friends again, and you the one sitting looking rude up. Or when it's your turn, let's say you're beefing with somebody else and you want your friend to unfollow that person or to stop talking to that person, they say, girl, it's not even that serious. Why are you being childish? Oh, why am I being, why am I being childish? But you weren't being childish when you wanted me to do that for you. And sometimes they will hit you with, but you didn't have to. What do you mean I didn't have to? Because I know you have a problem if I don't unfollow the person or if I don't stop talking to the person. Let's not act dumb because we know each other. Like, we know each other as friends. You know how everybody is in your friend group and how, you know, anybody will feel depending on the situation you guys are facing. So if you have a friend, you know that friend will trip if you talk to the person she's no longer talking to. You will, like, it will be so... It will be common sense for you to cut that person off just so you, your friend doesn't get mad at you, right? So she doesn't get mad at you. But then sometimes they will make it seem like, oh, I didn't ask you to unfollow them or to stop talking to them. But I know if I kept talking to them or if I didn't unfollow them, you will have a problem with it. Okay. All right, you guys. So these are all the signs that you are too loyal of a friend. If these apply to you, then baby, I feel you. Like, we here be here because that's who i am but trust me 2022 is coming up i'm already cutting certain things off when it comes to being too loyal now i'm matching energy so i i really really encourage you to start matching people's energy i encourage you to start falling back when you feel like you're always the one going going to always the person or she'll just throw the whole friend away like to just walk away let let that relationship die like let that friendship die like let go of that because eventually it becomes mentally draining okay all right you guys that's the end of today's girl talk video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you would like to see more girl talk video comment down below also share your thoughts about this video down below this topic what you guys think are you guys going through this or are you too much of a loyal friend or you feel like you are being that bad friend towards a loyal friend comment down below let me know what you think subscribe if you are new that really really helps me a lot make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video do not also forget to follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The link will be in the description box down below for your convenience. Also, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know it is all love. Thank you so much for coming back and messing with your girl. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.